Hi, I'm Dan Herbert and I'm a course developer and tutor at Point Blank Online. I've been working for over 20 years as a musician, sound designer and programmer. I released tracks in the mid-90s on Ouch, Tasty and Storm and have also worked in TV and film. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be checking out the Max for Life plugins which we've been developing here at Point Blank. These are available for you guys to download for free. Make sure you subscribe to the Point Blank YouTube channel and also check out our free sample courses at pointblankonline.net. Here is the latest Max Eye device from Point Blank. The Point Blank Stereo Distortion is a multi-band distortion plugin which also offers a stereo enhancer on each band. You'll often find the direct sound from a synth can lack excitement, so a bit of distortion can really help transform the sound and bring it to life. You can use the Point Blank Stereo Distortion to add a subtle amount of crunch or really push it hard for some abusive effects. We've also included a bit crusher on the front end and this can create that classic bit reduced sound and we'll see later on how we can use Use it for creating a talking bass effect. Don't forget that this device will only work if you have Max for Live installed and please check out our other videos in this series on how to install this device within Ableton. So we can see the plugin is divided into several different sections. We have here the low band, the mid band and the high band and these all have identical controls. The frequency range of each of these bands is determined by the range controller over here and we can simply just drag and expand out the frequency range so this lower area represents the low band this orange area is the mid band and this black area at the top is the high band you can also specify the frequency by adjusting these numbers here or you can just click on them and type in a specific frequency value so in this case the low band starts at 100 Hertz and the mid band goes from 100 Hertz up to around 5.5 K we've also got a bit crusher section we can turn it on just by clicking on the button and we've got two parameters to adjust there so let's check out the point blank stereo distortion so this is the saw bass if I turn off the point blank distortion and we're just using an instance of analog so you can hear the distortion is having quite a profound effect obviously adjust the range a bit this can be quite interesting in real time I'll leave it around 400 I think So on each of these bands, we've got a distortion and a width control. So if I just turn down the distortion on each, and also bring the width down. It's gonna sound slightly quieter because I've also pulled the output down to compensate for the distortion. So we can actually just use it to distort a specific frequency band. Distort the low end. And obviously we can adjust the corresponding volumes. To bring out specific elements within it. We want to give it a bit more width. And here now we're adding width just to the mid-range. Again, I'm just going to expand the frequency range out. Let's just reset these volumes as well. give the highs a bit more width. So we've got a fair amount of control over the distortion and the individual frequencies as well as the width. I tend not to use the width on the low end as that can cause some phase issues. Let's just reset this. I'm going to paste in my original settings. And there we go. We can check out some of the other sounds we've been working on as well. So I've got here kind of 303 style distortion. So again, we're just using an instance of analog here. And if I take off the distortion unit. So quite a resonant sound. And on this sound, I've made use of the bit crush effect. So you can hear how it's introducing the kind of high frequencies as well.
and you can really get some dirty sound. So the bit crusher happens before the distortion stage. Let's also check out uh, a little bit of a talking bass sound here. So a little more abusive. So what we have here is analog again and I've automated the filter, the frequency cutoff. Uh, and I've actually done it in a clip envelope, so let's uh, check it out here. Okay, so we've just got a two bar filter automated pattern. And uh, as we've turned on the bit crush, we get a talking bass effect. And the key here is the sample rate control here. <laughs> awesome. So there's loads of sonic potential here with the point blank stereo distortion. Don't forget we can also adjust the width. I'll bring these in. You can really hear how we're widening out the different frequency bands. So this is the point blank stereo distortion. You can use it on synths, you could use it on drums. In fact, you can use it on absolutely anything. And it gives you a huge amount of control over the sound, and whether you want to use it in a subtle way or really distort the hell out of things, it's really up to you. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.